Hey, Greg Boston here, CPA and president of QuickBooks Made Easy for Nonprofits, coming at you with the November quick tip for those of you that are using QuickBooks online if you are a nonprofit. So, and the tip today is about the reports. You know, they have those two reporting modes there's the classic view, right? Um, and then there's the new modern view that's been around for a year that everybody hates. But anyway, we're going to have to learn to love it because the classic view is going away. I've told you this before. Uh, they wanted it gone by October the 31st. Uh, that did not happen because, to be honest with you, the modern report is still glitchy. But we need to learn it. So here's my tip. And I'm going to baby you through this. I'm just going to give you a little bit of stuff on it because it's actually quite a big deal. We have a webinar on it coming up. But um, here's a PL. So, and when it pulls up, it pulls up in modern view. Um, I know you're used to switching to classic, but that's going to go away very soon. So anyway, I wanted to talk about these buttons up here because this is how you basically customize using these buttons up here. Okay. So the first one is display. It needs to say columns because that's what it is. Uh, it basically determines how to split the data up that's already here into columns. This next one that says compare, this also adds columns, but it adds new data. So they both add columns. But if you want to say, say like this one, I'm using classes to track my programs and I want to get a PL by class, I click on display which should say columns. And then here is the different columns that I can use. Here's class right here. And now I can get a PL for class as soon as it pops up. All right, there we go. Okay. So um, if there is a column that you want, like say custom field and you can't get it, um, we're going to show you how to do that in the modern reports webinar. If you can't get it here, you got to create your own custom report if you can't get it. Here. But anyway, so notice how this is basically splitting the data that's already there into different columns. And let's get rid of it. You get rid of the columns by pressing clear, which is important. Some of the reports already have columns. And if you want to get rid of them, you got to go into the display and click the clear button. But anyway, um, new columns of information, that's what this compare is. Okay, so I'll click on that. And this is where new columns are. This is where you would add the previous year at the same time or maybe percentage of row, a percentage of column. I'm going to do percentage of income. I like that. That's really a good uh, way of analyzing your P&L because now you can see that 28% uh, of my revenue comes from uh, individual contributions. See, everything's kind of based on total income. And then we can see that a third of my expenses are salaries. So I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, so... Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, the filter. This is where you filter things in and out. So let's go to the filter. Let me. Oh, I was already on it. Okay, there we go. So this is where you filter. And we're going to talk a lot about filtering. Um, there we go. Uh, so these are different things that you can filter by. You can filter out accounts. You can filter out account types. We'll talk about that uh, when we do our full webinar. And then general options over here. Uh, this is uh, kind of cool. Uh, this is where you can change the header and the footer and the way that the numbers look. Uh, this edit section titles, I think is kind of cool. I'll click on it. So if you don't want, want income up here to say income, you can change the title up here. So I'll call it revenue. Okay. Uh, and let's see, I'll make net income. I'll just call it net uh, profit. We really don't want to call it profit because we're a nonprofit. But anyway, <laughs> just kind of showing you there's a different, diff what these things do. So I'll go ahead and X out of that. And then it should change. Yep. Yeah, that says revenue now. And if you go down to the bottom, that says net profit. So anyway, and then when you're done, you can save it. But, uh, that's just touching the surface of what the modern reports does. So if you want to learn all about modern reports and get comfortable with it, which I don't care whether you want to or not, you basically have to. Um, we are having a webinar just on modern reporting, and it's happening on December the 11th. It's part of our 
six pack mini series. This is the third year we do it, and it's all about advanced training for nonprofits using QuickBooks Online. So uh, I'll go ahead and click the register now button so you can see because you can just sign up for one class if you want of course we think you should do all of them but uh, on day three blast off into the future advanced reporting the new modern reporting function explored and explained that's where it is I will be teaching it along with Hector Garcia who is amazing all right really really smart um, and interesting uh, not as funny as me though uh, so I'll be there uh, to make it fun. So please sign up for that thing, and I will see you there.